the who thing. Okay. okay, that sounds good. I can, yeah, that sounds good. I I write a. I used to write a blog. I haven't written it for a while. For those of you who know me, you know that I used to be a minister. And during that time, I wrote a blog called Clergy Guy, which was anonymous, and because the things I wrote about, I didn't want anybody to know it was me. Uh, so I've got one uh, from that old blog. I have a newer blog. Well, I'll tell you that. This is um, this is called She Was Mean. He was old and alone. His wife of many decades had died after a lengthy illness. He didn't go to church, but he knew me from the community, so he asked me to do the funeral. I sat with him in his living room to talk about it. What can you tell me about your wife? I asked. Without a beat, he said, Well, David, she was mean. And that was about all he had to say. <laughs> But I pressed him some. Do you have any nice memories from when you were young? He shook his head. No, David, she was mean. <laughs> I tried once more. Did she have a sense of humor? No, she was mean. <laughs> so I wrote in my notes. Mean. <laughs> the one notable thing about her was that she was a true miser. She never spent any of their money. Every check they ever received, she would cash and then hide it away in the books on her shelf. When she died, they found tens of thousands of dollars in those books. She was selfish, joyless, and bitter. No one came to her funeral except her husband. I wonder if Jesus was so gracious as to allow her into the pearly gates. How would she feel about heaven? Would the throngs of angels and people singing praise be so much noise to her? Would she be, feel offended at the waste she saw in the lavish feast spread before her at the banquet table? Would it outrage her that the gold she held so tightly to was now used as pavement? Would heaven be hell for her? And what would she think after the funeral that the old man took her money, married a woman half his age, bought a motor home, and left town? She probably felt pretty mean about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is uh, one It's probably going in. I have a new blog, David, it's, uh, it's called Deep Calls, and it, it's at davidashleymercer.com. Yes, my middle name is Ashley. Somebody said, really? Yes. No apologies. Whoever said that. Okay. I used to have a recurring dream about snakes surrounding me. I really hated it. It would start with a feeling of dread because I knew, I knew the snakes were about to appear and then they would, would, and then the rest of the dream was about my getting away from them. I'm not sure what it means and I don't feel like speculating. Freud can keep his opinions to himself. One night a few years back, I had the dream again and I woke up that morning feeling awful like I always did. I lurched into the kitchen where the boys were already eating breakfast. I asked them how they slept, and the younger boy, about five years old at the time, announced that he had had a dream about snakes. I perked up. Really? I said. I never told him about my dreams. Yeah, he said. Lots of them. They were everywhere. Wow. Were you scared? No. Because in the dream, I was a grown-up. Ah, I said perceptively. Then what happened? Well, there was a little girl who was in danger. I ran to her and yelled at her to get behind me, and then I pulled out a big sword. Wow, I said again. 
And then my whole body had power coming out of it. And I chopped off the heads of the snakes. Wow, I said once more. Hey, when I find a word that works for me, I stay with it. <laughs> when I dream of snakes, I said, I get scared. Were you scared? No! I told you. In the dream, I was a grown-up. Right, I forgot. <laughs> and then he told me this with a reassuring smile that made him look older than five years. And Dad, you're a grown-up too. And you can kill the snakes too. As it so happens, I never had the dream again. <laughs> now that was back in the days when I still prayed. I remember saying, I know he's got the tools, but please, 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 could you keep him from becoming a minister? 